and it's bright and early on a Sunday morning. It's day three of the holiday and wow, is today gonna be a good day. Today we are taking a steam train down to a place called Buckfast, so we're leaving Totnes for the first time. We're then going to a butterfly and otter park, which we're going to get some awesome photos of butterflies and otters. I'm super excited. I'm going to be bringing with me, for the first time, the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. This is going to be great for the otters and the butterflies, and then I'm going to pair it with the Canon 7D Mark II, which currently has the Sigma 105mm lens on it. Now this is a macro lens, so this will be perfect for the butterflies, but also again for the otters and maybe some people as well. I'm also going to be bringing the Canon 250D and the Canon 18-55mm lens, which is what I'm vlogging on right now. So I'm going to pack my bags, head downstairs, and I will see you on the way to the train. arrived at the station there is a train in the station right now and so we're gonna get on it takes a little bit to leave but we're just gonna get on this very old steam train and wait for it to go to Buckfast D. And we've got off the train, it's about to leave behind me, but that was awesome. I love that in a steam train you get the smell and you get the feel, you can kind of hear the train working underneath you. It's a much better experience than on a normal train, so now we're going to go into Buckfast Lee and we're going to find the Otter and Butterfly Park. And on our way to the Otter and Butterfly Park we've entered Buckfast Lee and this street is so pretty with all the bunting and coloured buildings. It's such a lovely little town. Now we've got a bit of a walk still, but we're just kind of taking in the beautiful scenery that is Buckfast Lee. And we have arrived at the Otter and Butterfly Park. So I'm gonna warn you, we've only got an hour maybe about an hour and a half to take some photos. So my priority is gonna be taking photos and then if I have to talk about them afterwards, I will do that. But I'll try and update you at the park. Now, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if they're gonna be easy to see or difficult to see, but I'm gonna swap around with the two cameras I showed you at the beginning of the video and we're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully, we'll get some awesome photos. They are the most popular and definitely the smallest and most sociable out of all 13 species. And we are up in a little hide. We can look down onto the otter enclosure in here. And we've just watched the feeding. Now I've got lots of video clips, so you'll be seeing lots of that, how it happened. And I've also got some photos. Now, lots of them are very crowded because there's tons of otters all in one place. But I'm hoping there'll be a few cute ones with the interaction between the otters. And yeah, it's so cute to see. They're all squeaking and most of them are young. I reckon they're all a family, a young family. She did talk about it. Um, 
I wasn't actually listening that much. I was focusing on the photos, but I do think they're young families. So I'm going to continue to take some photos and then I'm going to swap. So I'm using the Canon 7D Mark II and the Sigma 150mm lens for the otters so I can zoom in and get some reach. When we head inside, I'm going to swap from this lens to the Sigma 105mm lens because that will let me get still close to the butterflies but it's a macro lens so I'll be able to get better photos. So I'm going to stick out here with the otters a little longer but their feeding is coming to an end so in a second we're going to head into the butterflies. Now I'm not going to vlog when I'm in with the butterflies simply because it's a very humid environment. I don't want water getting into the camera. I want to keep it nice and safe. If it broke the camera then it wouldn't really be worth it. So I'm going to put the vlogging camera away and take photos of the butterflies. The Canon 7D Mark II is weatherproof meaning I'm happy to take this camera in. However the Canon 250D which I'm vlogging on is not so much. So with that all being said here are some more photos. And that brings us to the end of day three of the holiday. It was a very full on day and we got some awesome photos. Now I haven't gone through and talked about the butterfly photos and some of them are really cool photos. I could talk about them for hours. So if you're interested in seeing that, comment it down below and maybe we'll do a video where I go through them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Go check the links in the description for my Patreon and my shop. Show some support and I will see you in the next one.